What's up, guys? So, uh, yeah, man. Um, interesting weekend. In, uh, interesting week, really. And um, Nam was Nam was phenomenal. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I went there to check out some cymbals, man. Check out what they sound like. Check out different drum equipment. See what snare sound like. I had a very great a great time, honestly. Like, and then I was hanging out with I was hanging out with some great people. Tony Taylor Sr., which is Tony Taylor Jr., his dad. Hung out with Weedy, uh, djembe player, awesome guy, um, really awesome guy. Hung out with um, a guy named Jamal. He's a uh, Gregory Porter's um, bass bass player. Awesome guy. Like had had me in tears, it's crying, laughing so hard. Emmanuel from the drummer from uh, Greg Porter. I met him. Like hung out with him. Hung out with uh, a guy named um, David Hamilton. His dad. So David Hamilton Sr. and David Hamilton Jr. Top it up, you know, just just some real bonds that were that were built through this um, through this through this trip that I went to uh, to LA, and I'm very grateful that I did it because you know some good things came out of it. You can check Mother Nam videos for other good things, but this video I, I had got some packages, um, uh, I mean a few weeks ago before right before Nam I was supposed to do like uh, oh you know a opening open box packaging video, um, and. I, I didn't get a chance to because I was recording this video for um, the, uh, the the drum the Apple AirPod Cadence uh, uh, the snare thing I did and so I was focusing on that and then focusing on the package for Nam focus on focus on work and other, uh, other videos so I finally get to I was like you know what, I'll just wait till I get back from Nam so here are the packages I got um, I got it off the phone with, right here ooh packages another package getting sent to me just for me to test out some things you know. Put that out there. I wanted to test out some uh, some equipment. If anyone wanted to send it to me, so hey, people are sending stuff, which is cool. And while I'm out here doing that, I got some symbols from now that I'm, uh, some companies gave me so I can check out, which is cool because all drummers like symbols, and there's some really cool looking symbols in here to test out. So uh, let's get right to it. Let's open. Let's open this first box. Sounds like drumsticks. Drummers go through drumsticks. Unsheath my blade here. Hold on. That thing is. I like this thing. I got a, had a bunch of cool knives. I tend, tend to misplace them. So, so let's see. This is a big old box. For two pair of sticks. Hilariousness. But Zildjian dips. Super 5A dip. I wonder what's the difference between these and 5A dips. Um, all right. So you guys know I'm between a 5A and a 5B type of guy. It, it really changes on like what I'm playing or how long I'm playing. The 5As tend to be t small, and then 5Bs can get tiring sometimes. Acorn tips. I'm not a fan of acorn tips. A lot of people are. I'm not. It just. Sound they get on a symbol. Some people like that sound. I think it's more for me. It's more cosmetic. I'm a I like a barrel or round tip. Um, acorn tip just looks weird for me. Thank you. I will definitely. Um, I think this one said don't. This one has asked me not to uh, reveal its name, re reveal its source, which is cool. I won't. So I'll test these out. You know, check them out. I'll tell you what to do with them. I'm glad it's two pair because I don't know how quick I'll break them, which is cool. So, on to the next box. Try to see what's from. I'll see it right there. So, this package is from all the way from freaking Los Angeles, LA. Where I just came from. Haha, <laughs> this is from Kevin Buck. Thanks, Kevin. Pull here. Is it easy? Is it easy tab? No, I ain't no easy tab. Oh, guess what this one is? More drumsticks. Two pairs. Thank you, because, like I say, I'm gonna try to blast with one pair, and hopefully, I can give a second pair away. Never know. I'm a Vader man. I had the whole thing. Vader goes the extra mile for the drummer that goes the extra mile, man. It's the stick that keeps on giving for me. I just, I just enjoy Vader. But two pair, and what are these? Vader Piccolo Sugar Maple. See, Maple is a lighter stick, so this one I might need. I may blast through both of these because I'm a heavier player. 
This one is a very thick stick. Well, I can't say very thick, because you know, I, I play marching sticks. Um, so it's like a 5B type of feel, but it's light. So you got 5B feel with a 5A feel, like a 5B thickness with the weight like a 5A. No, I can't say 7A. So it's, it's, it's pretty thin. I mean, it's pretty light. Um, So well, I can't wait to see how these sound. It's cool because the taper and the beat. See that ball like that, like that ball right there. And then I can't wait to see how that sounds and how that feels, depending on like jazz or funk or Latin or gospel. I wonder how I do. In, I wonder how these hold up in church for me. All right. Small symbol. So I'm, I'm guessing. I'm guessing this is a symbol. This is from Florida, uh, from Kindle. Cool, thank you, Kindle. I shall sheath the beast, because that's all the packages I have. Shing. If I'd have missed, I'd have been in trouble. All right. All right. Oh, it's a Sabian bag. The bag says 16 inch ozone crash AX. Brilliant. BR. This isn't a ozone. It's not a Sabian. It is a Zildjian A Custom. The it's the label's worn off, so it's a Zildjian. I can just see right there. Zildjian right at the bottom. It's an A Custom. 16 inch A Custom. Kendall, thank you for not sing a, sending a cracked symbol. So yeah, I will definitely play this. And thank you for sending it. I will put it in a video soon. On to the next one. So this is the, the gift bag from Nam that I get to test out. Goody, goody, goodies. Let's hit the bag and show you guys what it is. Let's go from smallest to biggest. And we were here before the camera cut off. It's a um, company called Kingdo. Um, and this was the eight inch, eight inch splash. It's a chime splash, it says. Um, we'll test them out a little bit later. Oh, you know what? Let me turn my TV off. Hold on. All right, there we go. Now I'm back. Had a little Bob's Burgers playing in the background. Shout out to Bob's Burgers. I love the TV show. So yeah, this is an eight inch chime splash. Um, I'll test them. I'll, I'll test the sound later on. Just this is just showing um, what what I have to, to test out. So yeah, it's a uh, it's a very good sounding chime, a very good sounding splash. I mean, so this one, boom, the eight inch Craftsman splash. I like the way this looks. Mini pretty. Yeah, this one's good. Uh, this sounds good too. So what I'm gonna end up doing with these two? I'm gonna make an auxiliary hat. Um, I have a auxiliary hat, so I'll go grab that and then I'll set it up probably right here. This one, yeah, two eight inch splashes. 10 inch, no, I'm sorry, 12 inch crafting and splash. That sounds good. This one's probably gonna go right here somewhere. So I'll have it sitting there around this area. So I have that 12 inch over there, seven right there, and these eight sitting there. So yeah, 12 inch craft and splash by Kingdo. Sounds good. Next we have a, you know, I needed a China because I traded my other China a little while ago for a snare, which I traded for my traps kit. This is a coppersmith King Do China, uh, 16 inch, but it doesn't have a name on it other than that. It doesn't say what, uh, what, what series it is, but it's still a cool China. China's a China, they are just, I like trashy noises. That's good, nice, very nice. Holy China on top of that, so, which is good. So yeah, 16 inch King Do China. Sixteen inch 
Ozone Crash, King of Ozone Crash, which is cool. Very nice. Very, very nice. Figure out where I put this. This is probably going on the, on the right side of the set. Probably right there. I like, I like the crash right here. I like that. And I'll be setting these up. Um, when will I be setting these up? Not tonight. Because it's starting to get too late. And I... I need to go to the gym. Now this one is not a king though. It's another symbol company called Fierce. Um, and this is cool because I definitely wanted to check them out because they had a they had a nice array of symbols. I wish I could have got more to check out. Um, but I'm not complaining. Not complaining at all. 16 inch hand hammer. All of these are hand hammered. Classic series 16 inch dry crash. This one's nice. This is nice. A nice little dry sound. Nice dark sound. That's nice. Um, that's all I got from them. But then Kingdo gave me one other one to test out. This bad boy here. Kingdo 20 inch Hero Ride. Kind of reminds me of my my Peisty um, color sound. Real heavy ride. And hammer. I like the, the, the lathe, unlathe look. When I say it reminds me of my Pisces, my Pisces over here. Let me grab that real quick. This is my Pisces color sound. Power ride. Well, that one's darker though. But it's the weight of it. It's the, it's the same for me. This one's not really good for jazz. Um, it's not. That's why I have this one set up. My sizzle ride. I got that off Craigslist. The dude gave it to me. So I bought something else for like 20 bucks and he just gave me that symbol because he didn't know what it was in my game. So, yeah, this power, this that ride, that hero ride reminds me of my, my Pisty, I call this pasty. My Pisty uh, color sound. That's my baby though, I'm never getting rid of that. That's my very first symbol, very first symbol. Yeah. Darker sound. So I'm gonna end up probably setting both of those up just to see what I get different from it. That's all the symbols that I have got to uh, test out, which is cool. Everybody likes symbols, man. Just everybody likes symbols, especially if you get to test them out. So yeah, that's good. And the other things that I, I get to test out are it's called oh headhunters, headhunter sticks. I went to his booth and. It was the video that I recorded, I think it's real quick, but he went into depth about a lot of sticks that he had there, that he has there. Um, and his rods, I was really interested in his rods, so I told him I'd come back and he gave me some rods to test out. And they were used, which is why well, I think he gave them to me to test out, which is great. I wanted, I wanted to grab a lot more, but I kind of waited too late. So they were packing stuff up when I got back over there, which is still cool, you know, three pair. It's better than no pair. So, these rods here, he's called, he's, these are called blunts. Um, and how he does his rods, do I have any rods in here? I'm about to grab a rod real quick, one second. All right, so I won't be grabbing a rod because I don't have, the, well I have these rods. They're made a little bit different. So, normal rods are made kind of like this right in there. You can see that right there, so they make them um, just like that. These rods, which I got from, uh, and by the way, I usually make my own rods, that's why I don't, I don't buy rods anymore. I make my own, as well as, you know, the flex brooms, like, you guys know that. I'll show you what a flex broom is. This flex broom, these are flex brooms. I make these, I, I sell them, so just, if you're interested, put a comment below, message me, Instagram, DM, all of that. Those are flex brooms, so I make those. I make my own rods, general rods, Look like that, but this one's different because this is a which one of these? I think I can't remember these Pro Mark or Zildjian. But they have the little thing, that little that cushion in the middle, so it bounces a little bit better. But his, are, unlike the other ones, unlike the other one I showed you, he takes a, a dowel and he cuts it in four and then wraps it around with bamboo. I think it is. So you can see it's that little rod with the four right there, bam, and then he just wraps it in bamboo. 
which is awesome because the stick is extremely sturdy. So when you put on regular rods, you gotta, you're, when you do your doubles, you gotta kind of open up to get a double sound. You gotta open up a lot more than you will with a drumstick. With this one, it's just like playing with a drumstick. You don't have to open up for doubles. Not as much, so it is not really open like that. You got to see that, so how open that is, that's what a regular rod, if you have to play this one, I don't have to open like that. These are nice. The next ones, I've got two pair of these. What he does with these, you have your rod at the tip, but you have a stick in the middle. The purpose of that is you get a rim shot so you, it, you can play. On the cymbal, wow, if you want to play loud on the snare, you can get a cross stick. You can have a rim shot. That's genius. That's brilliant. With that knot right there, it's cool because you get accent opposed to it's a freaking genius so he gave me two sizes uh, this is the bigger size this is the smaller size we're both of them made out of bamboo which is cool so I'm gonna have fun with these definitely have fun with these so I think that's all the swag I got was it anything else oh I got two snare pads the head snare pad is literally under the camera right now, and I'm not gonna move it, so you'll see it in a different video. This is basically an unboxing video from now and a week before now. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's it. This video is gonna be pretty long, but who cares? It's an unboxing video, and people like unboxing videos. Head hunter sticks, Kingdo symbols, fierce symbols. Thank you to the people that sent in sticks. More than likely, one pair will be getting given away. That pair will be used. There's another thing. 16 inch A Custom, which I don't know where I put. <laughs> I don't know where I put the thing. But it's around here somewhere. So yeah, guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. Enjoy the videos, enjoy the music, enjoy everything I play, enjoy everything I do. I uh, thank you for watching. I thank you for uh, subscribing and liking. Send your information, ask for my information, send any, any inquiries. Yep, that's the right word. <laughs> Suggestions comments you can leave them down below you can hit the suggest hit the like button which was i don't know which where it is somewhere down there hit the thumbs up button hit the subscribe button you can send me your comments to um i fletcher inc at gmail.com i'll put that like right there which is good hey tune in to my other page is if you drum um that just shows my warm-ups my it's it's this this the isaac fletcher page is more like the, the performances or the the main things but if you drum is just if i just warm-ups and just practices so it's nothing like going out and doing a gig or anything it's just in the drum room hashing it out some things sound crappy some things sound, some things sound good but that's what i practice that's what practice is for nothing's supposed to sound perfect um so yeah i can't wait to put this stuff up to record to see how it sounds and let you guys know how it sounds. So thank you for tuning in. Um, keep the keep hey, keep the products coming. I'll test them out. Thank you very much. This is your boy Isaac Fletcher. Thank you for tuning in. Have a good one.